Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing all of my World War II weapons. So let's get straight into this. So first up, I'm going to talk about this. This is my World War II German officer's dress dagger. So this is what a German officer would wear if they're like going to a party or something where we're fixed up. This is the dress dagger. And you can see just how sharp this dagger still is. This is the cover to it. This is what would cover up the blade. Also what would let them be able to carry it on their waist. You can see the German Eagle right there. This is just one of the prized pieces in my collection. I just really, really love this dagger. It's such an awesome and rare piece. Then coming down here, sorry if it's dark, my light's dead. I have this World War II British infilled bayonet. So like I said, this is a World War II British infilled bayonet. You can see what I suppose is a serial number right there. See this? This is where they'd hook it onto the gun, right there. You can see it's still incredibly sharp. I wouldn't want to be stuck with this. Like I said, you know, it's British, World War II, infield bayonet. I'm not sure of the year, if anyone knows. Please let me know if you know how to date these. But yep, you can see the cover to it. Okay, then I have this 1935 French magazine. I don't know if you'd count this as a weapon or not. It was used in a weapon to hold bullets, so I don't know if you'd count this or not. You can see the 1935 right on the bottom. Be yeah, British, I mean, sorry, French magazine from World War II. Okay, then right here I have this World War I American 1918 machine gun bullet this is a 50 caliber machine gun bullet it's pretty cool it's my only what you could call a world war one weapon like i said i don't know if this counts like the magazine but i'm still going to put it in the video and right next to it i actually have a world war ii 50 caliber machine gun bullet you can see the 1942 right there it's pretty cool it isn't as sharp as the World War One bullet. Yep, World War II. 50 caliber machine gun bullet. They're pretty cool. I'm trying to get a bullet from every American war. I have World War One, World War II, Civil War, and Revolutionary War bullets. So now I need Korean War and Vietnam, Afghanistan, Iraq, all those wars. But yep, World War One and World War Two bullets. Okay, now this, I'm just putting this in the video for more content to make the video longer, but I have this right here. This is a Walter P-38. It's a German gun. Now this is not a real one. This is actually a movie prop from the 1950s and 60s. This was in, used in a TV show called Hogan's Heroes. You can see the barrel going down the gun. But yeah, this was a movie prop used in the t TV show Hogan's Heroes. It's one of my favorite TV shows. I'm an old soul, so you know I like old stuff, old movies, old TV shows. Then right here I have this gun. This is a Saving Private Ryan 1911 prop gun. So this was used in the movie Saving Private Ryan. I'm not sure where at in the movie, but this was used in Saving Private Ryan. They're pretty cool movie props. So yep, yeah, this is a pretty cool movie prop. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.